The Nestle company, along with two other companies, Archer Daniels Midland and Cargill Inc., they've had a ruling against them. The U.S. Supreme Court said the plaintiffs, three Malayan laborers who filed a class action suit in 2005, alleging that they were forced as children to work in a cacao field on the Ivory Coast, they do have standing. Now, the U.S. Supreme Court on Monday, they rejected a bid by the three companies to throw out a lawsuit seeking to hold them accountable for the use of child slaves to harvest this cacao. The plaintiffs contend that the companies aided and abetted human rights violations through their active involvement in financing. Well, first they purchased cacao from the Ivory Coast, but they were actually aware of the child slavery problem at that time. They were still offering financial assistance and technical assistance to these farmers that were using these kids, Jose, in order to get the cheap cacao. The court says, look, these plaintiffs have standing, even though they're international plaintiffs, this case isn't going anywhere. I am very glad to hear that. Um, it's incredible to see that this company has become so predatory with natural, not only natural resources that we've seen in the past. The CEO of the North American division, the water division of Nestle, came forward saying that water shouldn't be a human right, shouldn't be a some, something that is there for free, it should be a commodity that the company can, like them, can buy and then resell. Not only that, during the drought in California, they didn't heed at their efforts of boiling water around, and now we see that with knowledge, they supported a farm, or many in Africa, that gives most of the cacao around the world for chocolate, uh, support and education and resources to be better by employing child labor. I hope that this is was, a precedent in the future. It was about getting the cheapest labor that they could yeah. find globally and knowing the knowledge that uh, you, you know farmers are using kids. It's as it's guilt by association because mm -hmm. you know they are the employer of those children if they're working on fields that are harvesting their cacao. And uh, you're absolutely right, Nestle. A very long-standing controversial history. Um, the um, comment that you're referencing, I think he actually said that water was not a public right, that it should be privatized. Yeah. And for someone to come out and say that water is not a basic human right, it's not a public right, that it should be privatized, and now we know that they were actually aware of the child slave labor that was being you know, imposed on these farms. Way to go, Supreme Court. You know, rarely do we ever see a Supreme Court decision where everybody can agree, oh my gosh, this is really disgusting and something should be done. These three companies, they, they do, they will have to face um, these Malayan workers, um, but the Ninth Circuit actually upheld it, then it went to the Supreme Court. Nestle says that they're not backing down. And get this, Jose, they then tried to lead a petition that says child labor goes against what the company stands for after they employed the farmers that employed the child slaves. It's classic uh, corporate bullshit for me. Uh, it's incredible. For me, it always makes me think about what these big corporations, the power that they have to change the world. Mm -hmm. if, imagine if we have companies like Nestle, in the case of uh, illegal farming practices around the world and supporting them with knowledge. And then in the other hand, we have big uh, energy sector companies that could change the world. McDonald's, if they will offer better food, the penetration that they have in so many markets around the world. But we see time after time that their greed and their thirst for money is bigger than any social conscious that could be there. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm glad that at last we see a Supreme Court decision mm -hmm. that stands with the little guy and puts the wrong guys uh, that's where right. they should be. That's absolutely right, because in 2013, um, one case where uh, 12 Nigerian workers, they had accused uh, British and Dutch-based Royal Dutch Shell mm -hmm. of sponsoring torture and murder. That case was actually thrown out. So we, we are seeing a tide change here where children victims of child labor that were actually inadvertently employed by Nestle, the Supreme Court is saying, look, these plaintiffs, they do have standing. This case isn't going away, and they have a valid claim.